Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Max McAllister from Traction Dynamics. Hey, today we're going to show you our new uh, Traction Edition badging for Honda Gold Wings. Uh, so for several years, bikes that we do our full suspension package upgrades on, uh, we've had a CNC machined badge that uh, we'll give to owners if, uh, so that at their discretion, if they'd like to display a badge, they can put it on their bike. So. Uh, those are tricky and complicated to make, and uh, while I like them, I was never totally happy with the results. So this, with the advent of the new bike, uh, it was even more complicated to make a badge because a lot of the places we wanted to put it, there wasn't a curved surface, it actually had a bend in it. So for us to bend a, bend a CNC machined part uh, that had anodizing on it and such, it, would never, it never looks right. So. Uh, we found a great company, an American company, because we buy American here, um, in Massachusetts, and they uh, have created nice uh, domed resin badges for us, kind of automotive grade looking badges. So uh, here's one of them now. I'll kind of, you can kind of see uh, our Traction Edition logo. <coughs> and uh, you know, in the past we had these metal ones that we made here in our machine shop. Uh, these were complicated. These went out, they were anodized and then uh, belt sanded to take the anodize off and expose it, make a brushed look, and then clear coated. So these were pretty labor intensive. Um, but uh, these are super sweet. Big difference is these will mold to any surface. So anywhere you'd like to place uh, a logo, you can. Uh, so on the 2018 bike, this is really my favorite spot here on the front fender. I really like that one. Looks looks really nice. Uh, I put a few around on this bike so that you could uh, kind of get some ideas where we, where they might look good and choose for yourself. Oh, you know, I forgot to put one. Uh, front fender tip is also kind of a nice place. Um, would be a nice place for one if you like. But I kind of like this one up here above the Honda logo on the windscreen. That one looks good to me. Um, and then I'll show you a couple on the rear of the bike here. A couple places you might put one. Um, down on the tip of the fender here. Uh, and then uh, years ago, you know, in a lot of passenger cars, you know, that when they have uh, upgraded sportier or luxury editions, they'll have some sort of badge that marks them. It's typically on the right rear side of the, of the car. And Honda did this if you're old enough to Remember Aspencade Gold Wings from back in the day? They would have Aspencade badging on the, on the trunks, so kind of a tribute there. That's kind of a nice location. And another place uh, is up here above the Honda logo on the trunk lid. Although this one's tricky because this Honda logo never really looks right to me. It always looks somehow tilted or wrong. Um, when I got my bike, uh, it was really cockeyed and uh, had the logo replaced under warranty, but it still doesn't quite look right. Uh, the letters come together, but there's no gauge or line or template on it. Um, they're held together on the mold that sticks them to the bike, but there's no way to, no edge or line to align it and place it properly and no reference. So I think it's really hard for anybody to put it correctly. So if yours is tilted at all and you put this badge on, perfect and level, then they look cockeyed to each other. So this is a trickier place to put one. So you'll have to just look at your own bike. But, you know, obviously you wouldn't slather your bike with all these badges, but you can choose one of these, one or two of these places if you'd like. Uh, if you're a uh, Traction Dynamics customer for uh, anywhere that has our full suspension package on any 2001 through 2019 Honda Goldwing, if you'll just contact uh, us here you can use uh, info at traction.com or everybody should know my email address by now. I'm max at traction.com and uh, we'll verify that you've bought our kit and uh, we'll mail, you, mail a set of these out to you at no charge. Now, <clears throat> in the process of doing some custom bikes, we had uh, uh, a couple of owners ask about a custom badge and uh, kind of what sent us down the road was the stock Honda badge uh, while we had the had them off for paint um, I looked around at all of the bikes I could find to get one that wasn't red so just by chance the first bike we did started out life red and we painted it yellow um, 
The problem is all Honda Gold Wings, no matter what color they are, have this same wine colored red badge. So if you spend thousands of dollars on custom paint, uh, you'll probably don't want to stick a red badge back on your bike. So we went down this road of trying to develop a, a specific logo uh, for those bikes. And in the process, I've got another Traction Edition logo. So if you are uh, crazy about our company and our products and want to replace the Honda Wing with uh, our logo, We've made a, a super cool logo badge here. Come around on this side and check it out on, on the bike here. They are left and right specific because we got a wing going forward, kind of just like the Honda was. So uh, they look pretty sweet. They got kind of a chrome background and they're domed resin. The, uh, these are trickier to install because you have to get it off, get the, lo the, the logo off and the Honda logo and they're stuck down pretty good. So all you gotta do is take a little piece of any tape or duct tape or anything good that you've got, lay it down here at the bottom. You'll take a small flat blade screwdriver and put your finger to kind of keep, keep it off the paint. You're gonna find the edge of the badge under it and then you just kind of wiggle and force the screwdriver under it if it makes a little scratch here, it isn't going to matter. I, I got mine off without scratching it, but it won't matter. Um, and once it's kind of up under there, you can flatten, flatten the screwdriver out and then just start prying a little on your finger. Pry up. And uh, as you pry up, it'll start tearing the foam glue, the foam adhesive away off of the back of the badge. And so eventually it'll just kind of let go. Uh, You'll need uh, some contact cleaner or alcohol or goo gone or something to get all the glue off from the Honda badge. And then once it's all super clean, uh, you want to clean it with alcohol uh, or again, some sort of contact cleaner to make sure it's perfectly clean and to apply the new badge. Uh, so just kind of rub this and make it nice. Um, and then Take your time, you know, make sure your bike's on the center stand so that it's kind of easier to, a little more easy to see the horizon and see what's level. And see, I need glasses because I'm not that young anymore. All right, here we go. And just take the time to stare at uh, where you're about to place it. And if you have any doubt, just put the nose down a hair because technically the bike is pointed down a hair because it's on the center stand and the front wheel is down. And you know, if it starts to touch and you're not happy, just lift it. Take a your time. I'm still not happy. All right, now I'm happy. All right. And then there is a, a divot there behind from the Honda logo. So I try not to smoosh this badge into it, you know, just mainly push around the outside. If you're a super perfectionist, um, I'm showing you the easy way to do this, but if you're a super perfectionist, you can take a little bit of that uh, steel stick from JB Weld, uh, that putty, make a little ball of it, push it into that hole and smooth it with some water on your fingertips. Just smooth it real flush. And if you're super particular, you can even sand it and it'll fill that hole behind it so that it uh, sticks all the way around. But there's a nice traction addition badge. And don't forget, if you go to stick these on, they are left and right specific. Uh, I had tried to do it in a sneaky way where we would just apply a badge to the top of the Honda badge. And because uh, I saw someone do that with a Punisher sticker, they had brought they had a bike here we were doing suspension on. So we tried that, we did some prototypes, but unfortunately, what happens is the edge, when we're, we're trying to stick a sticker to a dome, to a dome shape, so the edge would kind of curl up and that was ugly. So we said, well, we're gonna have to just make our own standalone badge. And so that's what we did. So there's some uh, badging ideas. Again, if you're interested in these and you've uh, already purchased suspension products from us, then we'll be glad to mail these out from you at no charge. Um, if you'd like to come in and have your suspension upgraded, uh, we can apply them at that time for you, you know, wherever you'd like if, if you so desire to have uh, our badges. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching the video. Um, I got some more fun stuff I'm going to come back with here today in just a moment, show you some cool things. All right, so don't forget to uh, like these videos, share with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel.